Hello. Um, hi. Uh, this is episode 13, and uh, I'm on a Monday again. I was away last week in Portland, Oregon, and in the US uh, at a big Mozilla meeting. That was fun. I also managed to um, merge a couple of patches, and uh, so did uh, at least Steve has worked a lot recently. We have this feature window close this Wednesday. Uh, well, last week. So now it's um, we're in the bug fixing period and we are going to only allow bug fixes for a couple of weeks until the pending release 7.40.0 supposedly released to be released on uh, December 29, I believe. I, I mentioned that before, I've pushed the release date two days because I'm going to be traveling and I want to have the release out uh, <clears throat> before I go. So, but this is an excellent time to, um, if you're interested in anything bleeding edge stuff in curl, it's a perfect opportunity to get the latest uh, of the master branch and then try it out. Um, because now we're, we're in, a, in a, a period where we preferably uh, manage to polish off, off some uh, some of the worst bugs and get everything in order so that the release becomes nice and clean and tidy. It never really works, but we, hey, we can try and you can help us. Um, the, the, a couple of big things then that were um, merged. Uh, I've mentioned them before, but now there are actually, they, they uh, hit the deadline or, I mean, we did it before the deadline, so they're in. And I, um, it is, I think it's interesting because most of our releases, they're just more small, small steps toward eternity with, yeah, we added a bunch of new things. But in this uh, release, we actually have a couple of coordinated, well, I mean, a couple of things that by some accident will end up in the same release. So we, for example, we have um, support that Peter Wu wrote for its support for Unix domain sockets instead of using TCP for TCP based protocols, which in most cases means HTTP over uh, Unix domain sockets. And why do you want to do that? Uh, you may ask. And if you ask, you are not the user, I guess. No, but uh, there, there are apparently uh, more than one service actually that listens on a TCP socket for incoming traffic and a Unix domain socket too for like local uh, services and stuff. Most the the one I'm most aware of is uh, that there are HTTP servers that work like this. So uh, HTTP over Unix domain socket is probably the biggest use case here. And uh, uh, that seems to work. It's documented that we have test cases. Uh, yeah, but of course I'm, I'm sure that this is a brand new feature. I'm sure we have missed something. So. If you're interested in this feature, uh, grab it and try it. And woo. Uh, another thing is also another pretty big thing is that new protocol, the SMB, also called CIF sometimes, CIFS, which is the good old Microsoft uh, access protocol to, to read files. Um, I think you can also write files. Yeah, and they're then in the new URI format to SMB colon slash slash host name slash path. That'll be interesting too. There's also uh, uh, implemented support now for Kerberos um, uh, V5, yeah, the GSS API stuff for, for email Kerberos, which I think is uh, uh, most of the email protocols, at least SMTP. I don't remember of and now if it's for, for the other ones, like POP3 and IMAP. Well, you can find out when you try this feature. And uh, we have a potential security fix in the next release. I haven't really progressed on that. I have a bit, bit of bad uh, conscience about that. I, I'm feeling a bit guilty in general that, well, I was away last week and I, I, I did I tried to make an effort to get this these features merged so that they actually get in before the feature deadline that was this Wednesday. So I kind of deliberately not worked on, on uh, a lot of patches that have 
been reported or and discussed the, the last week or two weeks or so. So now is really a time where I need to get back to uh, plow through the emails and the bug reports and see what, what, what we can do, what we should fix and how to handle a lot of issues and quirks that we have got reported and we should make as good as possible until the release. Um, as I said before, the, the, the thing is about getting people to try out things. Yeah, that's a great thing. And once upon a time, uh, I actually did pre-releases and sometimes I did beta releases years ago. And I've always constantly been reminded that it doesn't work. Nobody cares about pre-releases or beta releases. Nobody will ever, I mean, some, some, some good people will do that, but not the not the necessary amount and not it doesn't really make a difference how the uh, how the eventual release is is uh, received so i mean the only proper releases that are that get widespread use and widespread testing and therefore we mostly uh, never get any really serious or or proper i would say that I could phrase it like this, that, that the big bugs we have in proper release is not detected prior to the release case, to the release date, even if we do pre-releases or better releases. So we just, we, we put up the code in, in daily snapshots. So if you want to build from a tarball, you can just get the, the latest tarball. You don't have to actually build from Git if you don't want to, even if, if that's fairly easy too, if you just have a development environment set up. Um, yeah, I'm trying to keep it like this uh, for this week. We, of course, I, I didn't. I, I, I mentioned a couple of, of uh, high-level uh, new features then for for 7.40.0, but we of course have a, a busload of bug fixes too. Uh, I'm gonna make a quick look and see if there's um, a couple of ones that are, might possibly be worthy of mentioning. Um, well, we have a lot of. Um, have a lot of CMake fixes, we have build fixes in general. We did a, a, a very nasty compile failure, for example, in the previous release with um, Microsoft Visual Studio. Uh, yeah, we have all sorts of various things. Many build fixes for other platforms too, for like uh, the Borland and things. And we have, uh, we, <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit stupid, but we allowed pipelining uh, when using HTTP2. And pipelining, if you know anything about HTTP, you know, then you know that pipelining is for HTTP 1.1. In HTTP2, it's completely different. So uh, trying to do pipelining then completely broke everything. And yeah, that's, uh, that isn't possible to do anymore. And we, yeah, we have some other portability fixes, blah, blah, blah. And uh, meh, yeah, a lot of small things. We can do MTLM with a Windows uh, Crypt API, for example. How about it? Um, that's about it. Um, <clears throat> I think we're going forward just doing bug fixes uh, now on curl in, in Firefox. I'm really into bug fixing. I'm working on some annoying DNS problems with uh, Firefox on Android. But I'm getting there, there, and um, I don't have a lot to, to say about my Firefox work right now because they're mostly just bug fixes, just issues to fix. I like it, but not that much to to mention for 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 an audience. Uh, that's about it. Wget made a new release just today, 1.16.1. You go and fetch it and um, try out. And I'll talk to you again next week. And um, go make your reservations for FOSTEM and everything. Get your travels arranged. Get your hotels booked. And uh, go to FOSTEM uh, early next year in, in January, February in Brussels, Belgium. I'll be there. And a lot of my friends will. I hope uh, trust you're one of my friends who will be there. So yeah, uh, do that. And uh, see you next week. Bye.